In this lesson, we'll briefly discuss properties of organic compounds. Question one reads, indicate whether the following properties are more typical of organic or inorganic compounds. And the first one being, is not soluble in water. Before we begin, what constitutes an organic compound is something that is made up of hydrogen and carbon. And normally with hydrocarbons, they're not soluble with water. Think of petroleum. If you were to mix oil or petroleum in water, they wouldn't mix. So chances are that this is a property of inorganic compounds. Moving on to B, has a high melting point. Now when I think of organic compounds, I think of plastics. And when you put heat to plastic, it melts almost instantaneously. So I would say that organic compounds don't have a high melting point. Another example is cooking oil. If you place cooking oil on a skillet, it has a low smoke point where it starts to smoke even before it reaches 40 or 50 degrees Celsius. On the contrary, a rock, which is inorganic, doesn't have any hydrocarbons. So it takes a lot of heat, an extreme amount of heat, in order for it to actually melt into molten rock. And then C, burns in air. Organic compounds are more likely to be flammable. So in this particular case, this is a property of organic compounds. In question two, what elements are always found in organic compounds? Now I mentioned at the beginning it's carbon and hydrogen, but also other elements can be found in organic compounds. But as long as those two are there, then that's an organic compound. So here we have carbon and hydrogen. And there you have it, a quick intro to organic compounds.